housemates. We have a winner. Ipolang. Yes, big brother. Congratulations. You have won the Supreme Veto Game. Your slot in the finale has just been guaranteed. Guys, the God of Ipeleng is working. Like, you cannot even tell me any different. You see, the prayers of our parents are seriously working because what? Oh my god, like immunity to the finals. Are you joking with me? I am so happy for her. Like, who would have thought? Who would have thought Ipeleng? Like, we already seen that when um the housemates are on page, she'll be one of the first housemates to leave. But look at us. Miracle indeed, no retired Jesus. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zini and I'm back again like I never left. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're joining me for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Please smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. You can also turn on your post notification to be notified when I post a new video. Housemates, yes, starting from now and till the end of your time in Big Brother's house, all pairs are hereby dissolved. Finally, finally, guys, the pairs have been unpaired. Meaning there is no Caniva, there is no Black Link, there is no Royals, there is no Costco, nothing. One man for himself. O-Y-O, on your own. The way you came to the house, that's how you're gonna leave the house. With TV days and with C, don't tell me nothing. There is no pet to the end, though. They have now been unpaired. So when it was time for the HOH game, that was the first news the house, um, Big Brother broke to the housemates. And it was so emotional. I saw Tabana hugging themselves. Same thing with Juvon. And even Costicle as well. Like, they were so emotional. You feel me? They thought they were actually gonna be pairs. They were actually gonna be partners, rather, till the end of the game. But uh-uh, Big Brother said no time to switch things up. You feel me? So this particular HOH game, they had to play it individually, right? And Big Brother announced that whoever imagines the head of house will um have the supreme veto power and you know the first um surprise or the first gift will be announced right there that is um after the person has won and the other will be announced on sunday this is the suspense that big brother does every freaking season of big brother like why are you taking it to sunday he actually gave the pro there were two boxes for the winner and this is how it was played. The boys had to play first. Whoever imagines the winner, the, just one person. And then the girls would play. Whoever imagines the winner, then the um, boy the, um, that won from the first round and the girl that won from the second round will both play the second game. So here's how the housemates played the game. Now, there were three open poles and the housemates had to um, um, put the ball into each um, pole and let it slide to the next. There were three poles under each other. The ball had to slide to the second pole. The ball had to slide to the third pole and when it gets to the third pole they have to run to the other end and catch it and if the ball touches the ground they have automatically been disqualified they have to go back to retire back to their seats yes let me repeat it again they are to stand at um, one particular end and hold the ball and um throw it or just drop it on the first open pole it's gonna slide to the second pole under it and that is also going to slide to the third pole. Now, if per adventure the ball um, falls on the ground in the process of it sliding through these three open poles, then that um, housemate has been automatically disqualified. But if it slides to the um, third pole and gets to the end, the housemate has to run to the other end and catch the ball. And they have to be doing it till the buzzer goes on. Now, for the boys, um, I think Miracle and Black Boy, yes, um, we got to the finals, but Black Boy was the one that emerged the winner for the boys. Now, for the girls, I think, uh, yeah, Kosi, Nana, and Ipeleng um, got to the finals for the girls, and Ipeleng emerged the winner. Like, guys, it was so coincidental. Black Leg, Black Leg, Black Boy, and Ipeleng, now they've been unpaired, they still emerged the winner for each gender. Like, yo, yo, yo. Okay, what's up? Now, for the second game, Big Brother asked the two housemates that um black boy and ipeleng to place cups on each other on a sliding item now they had to place it till it gets to the top and um there was water as well and i think it was optional for them to you know pour water into the cups and ensure that they um, pour water into each cups and place them on each other i feel it was optional to pour the water anyways black boy continuously was pouring water into those cups and you know ipeleng too was pouring water but at some point she just placed the empty cups on each other and of course of course that's logical it would be easier for the 
or mortar for the cops to stay on this sliding item without any interruption when um they are not there's nothing occupying them when they are empty right so of course ipelen place her cops on each other on, on the empty cups on each other right but black boy was still struggling to pour water into them and of course it's, it will be heavy for this lighting item you feel me so of course she emerged the winner and in my head i was like six people i said it's optional why was he still stressing himself when he saw that it, um the cups were falling down you know at intervals when he um put them and he's almost getting to the top they will all fall so why were you since brother brother said it's optional like it was so like bro what are you doing anyways um people that said when he um when they get when they, they when they place the cups on each other and they get to the top they had to ring the bell and of course ipeleng um place empty cups on each other and of course she won and people that um asked her to open the first box and that's when she read the um surprise of the gifts out loud to the housemates that she cannot be nominated at all for the rest of the game like for the rest of the weeks that gets to the final the win grants you the position of the head of house for the week and immunity to the finale this is your lucky your slot in the finale has just been guaranteed Big Brother also asked her who she would like to share the head of house room with. And of course, she mentioned Black Boy. I mean, that's her ex-partner who has been there for her through thick and thin. So, for those that felt she betrayed Miyako by not mentioning him, I don't understand why. Why should she have done that? I don't understand. Maka, why? A housemate of the opposite gender with whom you may share the head of house lounge. I will um, select Victor, Black Boy, Big Brother. <laughs> And he told her to take the second box to the HH room and she was he would tell her when to open the box. Guys, we've been having speculations on social media that this box contains the rule or the other surprise whereby she has to um pick someone that will be evicted. And guys, you know we have actually seen this in past season, the likes of Amaka, you know, uh, what's the name of that season again? The one with Fina and Co. And you know, um, that's the last um, big brother and I just Big Brother and just season, you know, it was the Mamaka was the most nominated housemate, and that's how she left the house. So surprises like this come, and you know, this time around there are speculations. I'm not sure the power will be bestowed on her to um evict one of the housemates on Sunday. Oh my god, oh my god. Who will she probably nominate? Tati is her person, black boy is her person. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is this twist twisty? Cause ah, it's twisty, you know, big brother and spicing things up. I like five and six. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notification to be notified when I post a new video. I can't wait for the drama that is going to unfold, guys. I cannot wait for the drama. Um, Kosi, on the other hand, had a conversation with Tabang. Let me just put it out there. And she told um Tabang that all of this, that's Yemi leaving the house, is not going to, you know, be the end of them. That's in her words. Yeah, all of this happened is not going to be the end of us. She just needs time. So, premium drama, guys. This week, make sure you are glued to your screens. Or if you're not, I'm always here to just your fill your in as usual with undiluted just raw. See you all in my next video once again. Bye.